In this video, we will make a fixed Resident Evil camera, like in the old games. The logic is very simple. We will replace the character's camera with temporarily fixed cameras. We will do this using a trigger box. Let's start now. I've created a folder in which I'm creating a blueprint class actor. Let's call it BP Evil Cam. Let's open it and add a camera. Let's go to the event graph. We'll use the event tick node. We need to get the location of the camera actor. Get actor location. We also need the location of the character. Get player character and get actor location. We need to combine these two in the Find Look at Rotation node so that the camera can follow the character. To provide this tracking, we take the camera and connect it to the Set World Rotation node. We also connect the event tick to this node. We also connect the return value from Find Look at Rotation to New Rotation. Compile and save. Let's create another blueprint, class actor. Let's call it B, P, Evil, Trigger. This actor will trigger the camera. Let's go into it. Let's create a box collision. Now we need a variable. Let its name be box size and its type be vector. Click on the eye icon here. It should be instance editable. Let's switch to construction script. Let's take the box and connect it to the setbox extend node. Let's connect the setbox extend node to the construction script and the box size variable to the inbox extend. Let's give the default size. I made the whole 64. We will change it from outside the blueprint. That's why we made instance editable. Now we need one more variable. This will be the camera blueprint we just created. We write the name of the blueprint as the type and select object reference. And this variable should be instance editable. We select box collision and select on component begin overlap from the details section on the right, a little below. This takes us to the event graph. So we will program what happens when we enter the trigger. Other actor will be our character. We cast the character. We call get player controller and connect it to set view target with blend node. We bind the BP evil cam variable as new view target. We will not use blend time. I want the transition to be sudden. Now it's time to place the trigger boxes and cameras on the stage. I will cover this area completely. When the character enters this area, only the camera I will add will be visible. While the trigger is selected, we select the camera we added as BP Evil Cam in the Details panel. We can also select it with the eyedropper here. Now I'll quickly add a few triggers and cameras to the scene.
Let's give it a try. If you're finding value in these videos, hit that subscribe button and drop a like if you love the content and ring the bell to stay updated. See you in the restaurant at the end of the universe.